Maria Mitzvah, thank you very much for, for joining me. I'm calling from the, the venue of uh, the Swiss Open. Uh, and I'm calling you in, in the hotel room because, of course, many fans would have heard that um, despite the excitement of getting going, uh, the race to Tokyo is, is back, uh, a very, very important tournament um, in, in the Swiss Open. Uh, due to a COVID case in your team and uh, you subsequently having uh, contact uh, with the team, you unfortunately not able to play. So can you just talk us through... Uh, your perspective, because I'm sure there's a lot of travel involved, a lot of the, the testing that had to happen, and how did you uh, receive the news? Uh, to be honest, uh, it's uh, it's very difficult nowadays to organize uh, traveling, and uh, each tournament we try to even think about. We are uh, we always have in the in the back of our of our minds: uh, is this tournament even going to happen? Is it going to be cancelled? Are we going to um, choose the wrong tournament and um, it was a really nice thing that Swiss did not because until the last point I was like okay maybe at one point maybe it gets cancelled so I have to be ready for everything but it was very nice uh, we could travel it was all fine <laughs> until uh, uh, the first day we got our test really late like uh, they were delayed and uh, we could hear from all other teams that they got their results in five, six hours. We had already 24 hours been waiting and still no results. And maybe then we started to figure that something is not okay with our team. And uh, we got the news Monday evening late. And um, the person who uh, got the COVID, I was definitely sure I'm out. Uh, but I was hoping they would let me play, but um, yeah, I was too close of a contact. So, so after talking it through, you you're unfortunately not able to to play. Um, did they tell you? So what happens now? Did they give you some guidance as to um, how long you have to stay quarantined? And um, yeah, what are, what are the next steps? Yeah, they said I have to stay seven days. Then I get test. I think that that should be on Sunday if they can't. The communication is a bit tricky because the local health organization, they're communicating with a person, Roku, here, who is uh, or, uh, he's responsible for, for the COVID cases at the tournament. So they communicate with him and he communicates with us. So we don't communicate directly to the health authorities. And the communication is a bit hard and slow. But uh, they said at the end that I have to stay seven days quarantine. Like the quarantine is still 10 days, but I am not COVID person. I'm just contact. So uh, they said I have the right to uh, ask for a test at the seventh day. And then with a negative result, hopefully I can leave the country. Absolutely. We, we, we certainly hope, hope for that, but it's, uh, it's a tough uh, period for you uh, being cooped up in, in, in the hotel room. But the... Uh, reaction from the fellow players has been uh, quite nice. I, I saw on social media, was it uh, Lian Tan offering fitness equipment for you to have something okay. to do in the, in, in, the, in the room? So how has that been, uh, the, sort of the supportive uh, messages that you've received? Uh, to be honest, it, uh, it felt really very nice. Also, Laura, the Hungarian girl who got into the, into the draw because of my withdrawal, mm -hmm. she was also very nice to me. And um, it's too nice to see that uh, it's not everything about competition and um, because both of them are women singles and also Jordan Hart reached out. So uh, it's not only competition and uh, not everyone sees you as very much of a threat more like a fellow player, colleague, and uh, if something bad happens, they're ready to help. Yeah, absolutely. That's really nice to hear. Um, how will you be spending the time, um, apart from the, obviously, the fitness regimes that you'll uh, try to continue in the hotel room, but um, uh, how else will you, will you be spending the time? Yeah, this is what I'm trying to do to train as much as I can and uh, uh, support my, my fitness. Uh, otherwise, I'm trying to do everything I can to keep myself positive, first of all, and then um, to educate myself, like trying to, to read books and read stuff and watch also watch the tournament. 
I I don't know. I just hope time goes by faster because it's not it's not very it's not the best period of my life. And uh, of course, it's um, before the tournament. We were already reaching out to you to to have. Um, interviews and perhaps Instagram takeovers because it's such an important tournament for you in particular because of the race with your fellow Bulgarian women's singles player Linda uh, Zachiri. Uh, you're 64 in the world, uh, she's 66 in the world. I think uh, at the moment there's only 116 ranking points between you. Uh, it can't be closer. So is it extra frustrating that you know every tournament counts that, that something like this is, has occurred? Yeah, definitely, definitely is frustrating. But um, to be honest, with such a long, uh, such a long break from tournaments, I did not have my hopes up for the first one. So I don't think I would have won so many points. I just wanted it to be like a warm up for the other tournaments that are coming up, hopefully, and to be kind of a, to see where I am, what what I did in that past year where my level is at now to, to have it compared to the top level athletes in Europe and also in the world. But uh, I couldn't do it now. So next tournament. So uh, when things like this happen, it's, uh, it's all about remaining upbeat and thinking about the next challenge, the next hurdle. Um, I mean, professional athletes uh, are extremely resilient and adaptable. Um, so what is next for you? Are you already planning sort of the next few tournaments and further into the year? Uh, what are your main um, tournaments that you're looking forward to? Yeah, the next tournament coming up is O England. And I am very honoured to have uh, the possibility to play. Uh, but I somehow, I don't know, I just lost my confidence that it might not be, it might not be smooth also there something might happen again <laughs> but i hope uh, it will be fine so um it should be all england and then orleans tournament in france and then maybe the european championships i don't know if there is anything be before that yeah so there's plenty of tournaments between now and uh, of course the all important uh, uh, olympics for you to book your uh, plane ticket to tokyo Hopefully, it's going to be a battle all the way. It's going to be an exciting one. But um, just just talk us through your general uh, uh, training situation. Have you been able to train okay uh, in between tournaments? Yeah, hopefully uh, our training was not affected since uh, since they opened up in June. Uh, we, the national center, national team, could train fully and uh, without any restrictions. Like, uh, I mean, hygiene restrictions, yes, but uh, we had the whole every day. We had courts practice, we had gym practice. So this was kind of a, a plus in our country for the elite athletes. So um, we were only trying to improve in all kind of uh, areas, in the game, in the fitness levels. And um, the tournament is where you check that. And um, as a, a professional athlete who um, likes to control their environment, their, their, their training, their, their, their diet, uh, everything to do with that, uh, now we're sort of living in a situation where things are out of your control, um, waiting for test results and uh, the situation that has um, occurred in, 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 in Switzerland. Is this really tough for you to... Uh, deal with sort of, uh, psychologically and 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 how have you been speaking to your coaches, your family, just to uh, just to stay uh, stay upbeat? Yeah, that, that's uh, that was definitely the this the, it still is the the worst part of it for me because I am very controlling and I want to know everything. I have I want to know to have everything planned out and to know each day what I'm doing, each day where I am. But things are so uncertain with this COVID-19 that um, it's really, I don't know, buzzing me somehow because I don't, it's not in my nature. <laughs> I, I like to have everything like in, uh, I don't like chaos. And now it's total chaos. Everything is a chaos. I told you, we don't know which tournament should we enter. We don't know, is this tournament going to happen? Is this tournament going to be like restricted from Bulgaria or something? Can you travel there? Can you travel there? And uh, it's 
very tough. I guess, I guess this is my biggest uh, lesson from the, the whole situation that I have to learn that not everything is in my control and I just have to accept it and move on with it. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to, to have a chat with us and we wish you uh, the very best of luck in, in the future. I'm sure things will be okay and uh, really hope to see you at All England, at the prestigious All England tournament and, and playing again. 